Hey, so, um, I repainted these just basic slides that I like to wear, you know, when I take quick trips outside or just need to slide into something. Um, I started by painting them all black and I drew out sort of like a design to go off of. And I'm just going to show um, the painting process for the more elaborate shoe. Um, the other one I just kind of think is basic, but um, I don't know, maybe you guys would like to watch stuff like that, just let me know. Um, but I thought this one would be kind of relaxing to watch, so I just kind of began by adding um, to my design. Getting the lay of the land here. I don't know what that means. I just heard Bob Ross say it. Man, you, you know, if you actually watch that show, like, he takes, he has, like, squirrels and shit, like, in his pockets. Like, oh, I wish I could do that for you. I mean... I don't know, maybe I'll have to rescue a squirrel or something. As you'll notice, in this design, I include a lot of, like, nature, but also, um, parts of the human figure. Like, I just was kind of inspired by how they interact, and I don't know, I guess the shoe was sort of like an optimistic piece, because I hope that someday we can learn to coexist as we did in our more indigenous ways before colonization. You know, I should also probably mention, um, a lot of the paints I'm using, you can kind of see I have this fluorescent green photobombing there in the corner, but, um, the paints I like to use are acrylic, and that's what I'm using on this project, and believe me, by no means fancy at all. I, I kind of, um, more just try to, you know, just because I kind of have a grunge style, or um, that sort of thing, like with my art, I like to sort of use like cheaper supplies, I guess, to kind of like stick it to the system. And I just think that um, there's nothing wrong with using nicer supplies and they do have their advantages, but I love just using the everyday man's thing, you know, like 
paints that are easily affordable and I can just kind of share what I know using those paints with different people. Um, so yeah, I mean, no sweat at all. I will say, um, the fixative I used for these shoes was Mr. Super Clear Spray. That, that was just what I had on hand. I didn't go out and buy anything, but you know, any sort of sealant that could stick to like plastics or vinyls or whatever the hell your shoes are made of, um, it should work. I, I don't think it has to be like anything too elaborate. Um, you know, just see what you have like me. I mean, Ooh, it's giving off some Rolling Stone vibes right now. While you and I are here, I also wanted to say that um, if you want any like tips on how I go about approaching the human figure, like if maybe that process would help you, I would love to do that. Just let me know. Or I, I've kind of been to pedagogy, and if there's anything that anyone wants to know, like teaching-wise, I would love to, if I'm knowledgeable, I'll totally take you up. Um, but yeah, I, I realize I could probably be privileged, like just slapping it on and expecting everyone else to know. So please, if, if you want to, um, learn my way about going about it or even like teach me, like, um, say how I could maybe improve my process, I would love your input. Also, for the confused and dizzy, yes, those are tits.
So at this point, I went in with a Sharpie marker and just kind of... See, I told you, this isn't like a fancy video. I, I don't really like to use fancy supplies, but there's nothing wrong with them. Um, but yeah, here, here I am with a marker, just kind of adding in some details. Um, before I recorded, I, you can see I added, like, hair to the legs, you know, just for fun. Shits and giggles. Um, so I added a black outline around everything, and then later I'm going to go around with a silver metallic paint, which I incorporated a lot through the other shoe that I didn't film, but, um, I just sort of wanted to make them look like they match, and... Um, I, I, I do have nature interacting with humanity with the other shoe, but I just figured, you know, color-wise, we really wanted to sell that. You know, as much as Corona sucks, I am so happy that people are able to see one another outside and it like it's less likely to spread the virus i just think you know the state of the earth right now is getting a lot better and that's that's good You know, as I sit here during doing this voiceover, my cat's over here snoring. I wonder if it's picking it up. Oh, is it silver time? All right. Cool sandals. Thank you. Gosh, I don't know why I just can't choose a direction for these shoes. Sorry if it's a bad viewing experience. Gosh, now as I watch it, these shoes kind of look like a bowling alley's, like, carpet. I don't mind that, though. That's a cool, like, big Lebowski aesthetic. 